Hi guys, it's Donna from Iron Horse Vintage and today I'm going to show you how I paint some of my scrap wood pins. I've had a lot of requests for a video on how to do this. This is my first video, so be patient and we'll get through this together. So these are some of the pins. Um, these are from the Christmas collection and you can obviously see the before and after. Uh, but before we do the pins, let's take a look at some of the tools that I use when I do this. Obviously, you need some kind of surface to paint on, and I am a messy crafter, so just uh, be okay with that. Um, tiny brushes, like the ones that they use in nail salons. Paint pen. I like a micron pen for my black detailing because I find it doesn't bleed like some of my paint pens. Inks, I love these inks. Uh, Vintage Photo is probably my go-to ink, but these will save you a lot of time. To apply those inks, you're gonna need a blending tool like this little one here. You can get them in kits like this, which come with the little foam daubers as well as the handle. You can also get the little foam daubers separately and they really are simple to use. You just peel it off, put the new one on, and away you go. You can reuse them, so don't worry that they're a, a one and done. Makeup sponges. This is another secret trick of mine. And then obviously we need lots and lots of paint. Clearly the orange one doesn't want to play with us. Okay, so today let's do the most simple of the pins and that's going to be the reindeer and we only touch the paintbrush once with the reindeer everything else is done with the inks so one of the secrets to getting nice clean lines is to leave the masking tape on until you're ready to paint a certain area so because we're going to use the vintage photo and our dauber and we're going to have a couple different colors of brown we're going to start with what we want to be as the darkest color and then work down from there. So this pin pen, um, if you search Amazon for pin pen, you'll find them, is going to change your life when it comes to weeding your masking tape. So you just kind of stick it in there, pull off the tape, and now you can access your wood. There you go. So for these, I'm just gonna take the dauber, boom, 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 and I'm just going to color or paint uh, the antlers. There we go, antlers are done. Now, in theory, we would let this dry a little bit, but because we're using the same color brown, we're just gonna pull off the tape on his face. If I can grab it, there we go. And we're gonna do the same thing, only we're just gonna brush more than dab because we want this to be a little bit lighter than his antlers. And the reason I was able to go right over the nose is because we're actually going to paint that and because the tape was still on it, we don't have to worry about any of the color bleeding into that area. So again, once that dries, you're gonna take your pin pen, you're gonna pull up the nose, so now you can paint that. Um, I chose a red paint from Deco Arts and a teeny tiny brush. I'm not gonna bore you with painting. Through the magic of video, you can bring in one that's already been painted. You see, we just painted in where it's red. And then I'm gonna take my paint pen. And I'm just gonna dab a little dot, accent dot right there. Now in the original, you can see that I've added some accent lines around the face, which I did with my Micron pen. You can either leave it plain or you can add the accent lines. And then for the pins, sorry, excuse my reach, you're gonna grab these magnets. These are badge holder magnets. You can also get these on Amazon. You're gonna peel off the 3M tape from the back you're going to stick that to the back of your reindeer. Make sure you peel off your masking tape first. There we go. 
you're going to stick that there. This will attach there for on the inside of your clothing. No holes in your clothes. You've got your really cute pin and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.